if you watched closely in the last part I was doing Ctrl C and Ctrl V several times and just like this as you can see in this particular case somehow the edge is missing but if you zoom in and zoom out the edge will reappear again so this is a bug we are going to fix in this part so let's start coding so to fix this issue we actually do need to implement the bounding box or the bounding rectangle function because we didn't set it when we were drawing any of our edges and basically we can say self dot shape dot bounding box and we are going to return this here because as I read in the documentation you should be always providing the bounding rectangle and maybe even the shape so define shape and since we got our function calculate path which is actually returning the QPaint path we can say or return self dot calculate path and this should be working or maybe it is not because because the method is called not bounding box but bounding rectangle awesome so let's test that out I will paste it several times and I will try to mess up these nodes I'm still seeing edges I'm still seeing edges everywhere let's try it again looks like we fixed our problem so if I comment out the bounding rectangle again and I'm going to paste several times We are still okay we are still working because as I guess the QT5 itself when it got the shape defined it can call its own bounding rectangle but anyways I will leave that one uncommented and let's have a look at another thing if we cut several edges here and I cut I got crash so let's try to figure out why are we crashing if we are using cut line maybe the reason could be the bounding rectangle is 0 0 1 1 maybe not so let's try to copy this and crash Anyways, even though we should be setting the bounding rectangle, so we don't have this problem here. So let's try to fix this one. Return its shape bounding rectangle. And we need to define the shape. And we can create a polygon from Q polygon F self dot line points but we actually need the paint path to be able to create a stroke or the Q paint path itself actually we can have two options if we got zero point or one point only in the Q paint path then we are going to have a problem so if length of the self dot line points is bigger than one then we can create a path 
from Q painter path. Let's start with the self line points first one. And for each point in self dot line points starting from the index one up to the end of the list we can say path we can say path dot line two and pass in the point itself if we don't have enough points in our line points self dot line points then we are probably going to create a new path and we will say that the QPainter path will start at position Q point F 0 0 and we will have a line to Q point F 1 1 like this and after that we can return our path so let's try that and we crashed why did we crash let's start it again and we are here and basically our poly is q polygon f that's correct in our self function we got I'm looking for the line underscore points this is a list the list is empty so if we do one step we should be in the line points Q painter path starting from Q point F this one and path line to Q point F one one and we should return the path self shape dot bounding rectangle and crash so the shape doesn't have method called bounding rectangle and why is that I don't know yet but I will check out the Q painter path documentation and the Q polygon. So here is a Q painter path. Lot of stuff here, but we are looking for bounding rectangle. Which is here. Returns the bounding rectangle of this painter path as a rectangle with floating point precision. Hmm. Does the documentation say Q painter path object can be used for filling, outlining, on clipping to generate fillable outlines for a given painter path? Use the Q painter path stroker subclass. Doesn't say anything about bounding box or bounding rectangle. So bounding rectangle. Let's try print full and let's start again. Step over, okay, okay, still not crashing, which is fine. Self shape bounding rectangle going to full and crash. Hmm, because I am so stupid and I forgot to return the self shape bounding rectangle. So let's try it again. Control C, Control V several times. Control click and draw and it crashed. But we still got our bounding rectangle and shape working, which is what we want to fulfill for now. And let's try to figure out why it crashes now. 
So first let's check out the sockets and just to figure out if the edge is connected properly as it should and everything is assigned. So it is obviously but still when I do a cut I got crash. The reason for that is not so obvious in, and it took me a little bit of time to find it. So if we go to the node graphic edge which is here, I can just print out the starting socket that's gonna be self.edge.startsocket and let's watch closely what it actually does. So the calculate path is being called all the time uh, this is being redrawn and as you can see the starting socket is still set but if I cut I got crash but the starting socket is none which is the reason why we are crashing because if the self edge start socket is none then definitely we can't call none dot position so the simple fix for this case is test if self dot edge dot start socket is not none and only if the starting socket is not none we are going to calculate this stuff here basically if this one is none none of this is going to happen but still we got some distance and uh, stuff uh, setting to path cubic 2 but basically we don't care because the edge is being removed anyways so let's test this one out and no crash awesome so let's try it again and let's go crazy and create a lot of nodes and edges and now let's paint some crazy cutting line and when I press release you can see almost all edges and I missed this one and this one all the edges disappeared oh this one and maybe this one too and this one too and this one too okay so I forgot a lot of them but anyways as you can see there are no edges ah here one here there are hidden anyways we can delete with the cut line and still we didn't crash I can move around and I can cut like crazy and all of the edges are being removed one by one and we are not crashing so finally this bug is fixed and let's have a look at it another one so if I click and drag and I release everything is done but if I click and release I got crash and you can see the view drag end was called here and the start was called here but we didn't have the calling of the edge drag end so let's try to figure out where it happening and if we go to the node editor window or we should go to the graphic view itself okay and let's find left mouse button press and left mouse button release so first off I'm going to print something let's start the application click and release he got crash but number one was being called a lot of stuff here we edit should be okay but here is our problem just to prove I'm going to print out two and try it again and as you can see one and two is being printed out so anything above two is okay so let's undo that and basically our problem is here because self drag mode rubber band is being always true because I misunderstood the drag mode itself 
and it should be always rubber band track. So if I print out foo, you can see if we dragged and released, the foo was called, and this time the foo was called too, even though we are going to store the history or we wanted to store the history only if we actually did a rubber band drag itself. So to fix that we will go back here to the left mouse button press and we will define a new variable in the init and we are going to call it self uh, rubber band dragging rectangle and by default this is gonna be false so let's go to the left mouse button press and when we are actually drawing or dragging a rectangle the case is if we clicked on nothing and we are not holding the control modifier key otherwise we are going to set self rubber band dragging rectangle is gonna be true so this is our flag being set that we started to drag a rectangle and here when we do left mouse button release instead of this condition we are going to change it and say if self dot rubber band dragging rectangle is true and only then we check that we actually release the left mouse button we were dragging and we will store the history stamp selection changed and we need to also set our flag to false again so let's test it out I can click and drag I can click I'm starting to drag I click on the same socket it got cancelled we can check out that there are still three nodes two edges here to this socket the edge is assigned here is two and these two sockets are empty awesome so we finally fixed our bug and I guess this should be everything Ctrl C, Ctrl V, this one is still working. If I'm holding Shift and start dragging, this one works. I can Shift select something, drag it around, and it still works. Awesome! So for now, our bugs should be fixed, and we can move to the next chapter. So thank you for watching, and see you next time.